friends, my name is Jeremy and today I wanted to show you guys a quick, easy and fun recipe that I have been playing around with for a while. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Mario and Luigi inspired pasta. Now this is a tricolor rotini that I got. If you want to use bow ties you can do that. I personally wanted to find bow ties but they didn't have it at my grocery store. So if you could find these, this is perfect because it is symbolic for Mario and Luigi in the green and the red. And while we wait for our pasta to cook, which is going to take about 11 minutes, we're going to take care of all the prep work vegetables that we need. So what I have here is just one clove of garlic. If you would like to use more than you are more than welcome to. And I'm just going to chop this up nice and fine. We have some tomatoes that are on the vine. We have some whole white mushrooms. We also have some whole baby Bella brown mushrooms. Finally, we have some meaty portobello mushrooms. So our pasta is done now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a strainer and we're gonna put it right over the sink here. And we're just going to pour all of this in here. Now I'm going to keep this on medium high. I'm going to start with is my olive oil. Salt, some black pepper, and then a little bit of onion salt. Next we're going to take about half a stick of butter, put it right in here. We're going to take our portobello because that's going to take the longest to cook. Put it right in there. Put our baby bellows over that. We're going to take our white mushrooms, put those over that. We're going to let this cook. And we're going to let them reduce. Now that these have been cooking a few minutes, we're going to drop in our tomatoes. And we're going to drop our final ingredient, garlic. So if you'll notice down here at the bottom of our pot, we've got a lot of moisture going on. So what we want to do is we want to make this into a nice creamy sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one spoonful of flour and I'm going to put it right in here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about half a cup to a cup and a half depending on how creamy you want the sauce of milk and that's going to also reduce the heat on this so we want to let this keep cooking but what we want to do during this process is to make sure that we get all of this flour incorporated in here because we don't want it to turn out mushy or floury so you want to tip the pot so you can be able to get all of it down here in the corners and just mix it all in there because you don't want big clumps of flour in your sauce. Alright, so our sauce is coming together nice. You want it to be really thick so you want it to not be runny when you pick it up from with your spoon. So I'm going to drop the heat down to medium low and what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take all of our noodles that we've had sitting in the sink and I'm going to put it right back into our sauce and our mushrooms. So I'm just going to take my plate here that I've got. I'm going to scoop some of this on here. Just look at this. Look how delicious this looks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. The mushroom doesn't overpower it at all. Because you'd think that the mushroom would overpower the sauce, but it doesn't. But each one of the mushrooms all have their own flavor built into them. And they just, they just taste so developed, even though they weren't cooking for very long. They taste like they developed for a long time. This turned out exactly how I wanted it to. I'm so happy with this. If you are a mushroom lover, you are going to love this dish. And I hope that you try it. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that it is just as perfect as right now. I'm going to enjoy eating the rest of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. And thank you much.